you know, we were talking a few weeks ago about our perspective and our position and opinion of God. And so if our opinion of God is that he's a mean God, that he's out to get us God, he's here to punish us God, then we're going to react accordingly. But when we remind ourselves that he is a good God, a faithful God, he has good things for us, his intentions towards us are good, it really does align everything, your heart with your your mind and your soul, it all starts coming together. And uh, what you expect, you're going to find. We talk, my little brother and I talk about that a lot. What you're looking for, you will find. So if you're trying to find ways to discredit God, to give an excuse, a justification, whatever, you're going to find it. But if you're saying, man, God is good, it was the song before, or this song, he's chasing after us. His goodness is being, he is chasing after us with his goodness. So I'm actually going to go back to the scripture verse that we read last week in Philippians 3 out of the Message Bible. I'm just not ready to get away from it yet. But in Philippians 3 and 12 through 14, and again, this is the Message version, so it's a little bit different. It says, I'm not saying that I have it all together, that I have it made, but I'm well on my way, reaching out for Christ who has so wondrously reached out for me. Friends, don't get me wrong, by no means do I count myself an expert in all of this, but I've got my eye on the goal where God is beckoning us onward to, to Jesus. I'm off and running, and I'm not turning back. I heard a quote from a book that I forgot the name of the book now, but he says in there, um, saying, I don't know, so that phrase, I don't know, saying that phrase does not make somebody weak, it frees you. And I was thinking about that when we read the Word of God or even in our relationship with God or even like circumstances that are happening in our lives. Um, I'm quick. We're all quick to have an opinion. I, I like to have an opinion about things. But sometimes it is, my dad used to tell us this all the time as a staff, it's okay to say, I don't know. And so I think those words are really powerful when we're, we're able to say that, I don't know. I don't know how this is going to work out. I don't know why this is happening. It isn't saying that you don't have faith. It isn't causing you to be weak. It is actually putting you in a place to then free yourself up to what God has for you and what he's trying to say to you. And sometimes we get stuck on stuff because we think our opinion is right on the, in the word of God. And sometimes we need to maybe say, I don't know, and see what God is telling us through his own word and uh, lay down some of our opinions and expectations. So if you guys just stand, we're going to take up our tithes and offerings right now. We're just so grateful that you guys are in the house today and that we're together and we're able to encourage one another. So Heavenly Father, I just thank you for this day. I thank you for our community. I thank you for those who can't be here today. We just pray for healing and, and many people's bodies. And we pray for uh, restoration in people's uh, lives. All sort of, You know what is going on in each one of our lives. And you know what's going on in each one of our hearts, Lord. And many of us here don't know what's even happening to the person to our left or to our right. But, Lord, we just ask that today you bring peace, you bring wisdom to our lives, that you speak to us, that we're able to lay down our opinions and our ideas and listen to what you have to say and what you have to speak to us. In your name I pray. Amen. <laughs>